Hello, my beautiful new mommies. So excited to be back. Uh, right now we are doing the Ways to Free Up Time series for new moms. So just a little bit about me. I, when I had my baby, I did not have any local support in town. And so that first year I was really scrambling, trying to figure out, you know, how I could build support, how I could build a village. And because I realized at one point when my husband was out of town for work uh, that I just, I couldn't do it all on my own, that I needed help. And um, so this was very, very important for me. And I feel like for moms, a lot of times, you know, I was talking to another mom the other week and she was saying she had had her second. She's like, you know, I think I kind of shot myself in the foot, so to speak. You know, with my first child, I always told him, oh yeah, I got it. Don't worry about it. I've got it. And I think as new moms, we easily fall into this trap because we do want to have it all. And, um, you know, and sometimes you really do need support. So this channel is, you know, you're taking care of babies. So we're here and all about taking care of you and helping you come up with ideas and tips and how to t better take care of yourself so you can better take care of baby. So free up time. Um, you know, when you're looking to build a village, if you do not have one, and you're looking to go out and build support, what's the one thing that moms say they don't have? Time. And I said this too at the beginning. You know, I just kept telling myself, oh, I don't have enough time. So one thing I realized was, I've got to do some things to help me free up time so I can go out, you know, research what's in my area, go out and try some things, um, and help get that support that I really needed. So, um, and another thing I did want to mention, I recently did an interview with Femina from the Chaco Life about decluttering and organizing and finding joy, and I would love for you um, to check that out. Um, she is just amazing. She's a mom of three. So she's a mom who's been there. I think we can always learn from moms who've been there. Um, and she talks about her experience, you know, not having local family or local support in town as well, but um, also how decluttering and organization really helped her life. So Free up time number eight. We have 10 uh, tips, so we're almost there. So tip number eight is how I simplified my wardrobe. Um, and this really did help me free up time. And I do want to make this distinction. Um, there are some women who um, want a closet. It actually gives them joy to go into a closet that is full of a lot of clothes. They actually get energy from having a lot of options. Um, you know, they, they get joy from this. My personality, I'm more of an ambivert, and so I really needed to find ways to conserve my energy. And especially as a new mom, I needed to find ways to have less choices throughout my day. So this was huge for me. So how did I even come about um, thinking of how to simplify my wardrobe? So I, I think I've done a blog a little bit about this, but it happened, I don't know, I feel like around month two, I was still watching TED Talks, yes, because I was working up until a month before I had the baby. So those first couple months, I was definitely just trying to figure out the new routine, but my mind was also in business mode as well. So luckily, I came across Jennifer L. Scott, and she has written um, a book series called the Madame Chic series. And she has a TED Talk that is about how to have a 10 item wardrobe. And I thought this is brilliant. You know, I need, for me, I need some sort of structure or some sort of program or even some sort of guideline. Um, and it's not that it has to be perfect, you know, having the 10 item wardrobe. You don't, you know, I don't have it to a T, but I just thought this is a great guideline that I could use to help me continue to let go of things. Cause I had talked about before 
I also did the Marie Kondo just to get stuff out of the house, right? You know, you want to free up time, have less things that you need to deal with, you know, minimize as much as um, is going to make you feel happy. So, so I was watching the TED Talk and yes, well, number one, I love um, Paris culture. And so she talks about her time when she did an exchange program in college and stayed with a family and she talks about what she learned about style and fashion um, from the women in Paris and so I, I loved this and it's interesting I have a friend or we have a family friend whose wife actually used to be an image consultant and apparently this is a big thing in France where um, someone will come in and help you create your signature style so you know there, there are different words for this um, or different terms that I've heard bounced around. You can create a mom uniform is a great one. Mina or Fawn talks about this. You can look her up on YouTube. Um, so yeah, a mom uniform, um, a capsule wardrobe, or a 10 item wardrobe. And I just thought, I'm sold. This is what I need. This is going to help me free up time because the last thing I need to be thinking about is what I'm, I'm going to wear. And when I graduated from pajama pants to active wear, um, you know, I guess around, I don't know, I was trying to give myself a year. Um, so around month nine, 10, 11 is when I started to, well, number one, I had already gone through the decluttering process. And then I did Nordstrom's personal shopper, which is actually free. Um, and you're not required to purchase anything. So if you don't necessarily have a budget right now for it, um, but want to play around with this idea of creating a signature style and finding clothes that fit you well, because we have, you know, our new body and um, our new life and we have given childbirth. So um, I really wanted clothes that complemented my life right now. Um, and I just needed to let go of all the, you know, most of the clothes that just didn't serve me anymore. I don't know how else to say it. So yeah, it, it didn't serve me. So, um, I did the Nordstrom personal shopper. Definitely look that up. I will try to include a link here in, in the description. Um, another option. So I'm trying to go through the different options. So personal shopper at Nordstrom is free. Um, there's also a service called Stitch Fix. Now I personally haven't used it, but one of my good mommy friends who I trust her opinion and what she thinks, she's pretty honest. You know, she'll tell you, no, this didn't work at all and it's not good at all, don't waste your time. Or she'll say she has a good experience. She has loved it, and so I'm actually thinking about doing it as well. So if I do go through a personal shop with them online, um, I will do a video and let you guys know what, uh, how I liked it. So that's the second one, and I think the way it works is, is they do require a $25 credit, but um, once you start working with a personal stylist, they will put that $25 credit toward your wardrobe. So I think it's a pretty good deal from what I understand so far, but you'll need to check out the details for sure. Um, so that's the second option. The third option of simplifying your wardrobe, and this is if you are like me, I am not fashion savvy. Okay, let's talk about my sister. My sister is a fashionista. She always looks good to a T. She also is really good at going to department stores that have racks and racks of clothes. And when she sees racks and racks of clothes, she gets excited. I walk into a store with racks and racks of clothes and I start to get stressed out. I start to look at, okay, what's on the mannequin and what has somebody already put together that I could maybe, um, you know, get some ideas from. And one thing I've learned through this process when you're coming up with your own style or your own mom uniform is just because it looks good on the hanger does not mean it's going to complement your body. It, you know, you have your body shape, 
you have your skin tone color, you have your eye color, hair color, and all of these things, um, you know, go into what are the, what's the capsule wardrobe or what's the 10 item wardrobe that um, is going to make you feel, you know, feel good and uplift your spirits. And when you have a 10 item wardrobe and you have pieces that you can mix and match, this is also going to free up time, ladies. At least it freed up time for me. So I'm just sharing my personal experience. So as I was looking to free up time to go out and build these connections, build the support I needed as a new mom, um, you know, simplifying my wardrobe was one of the big key things that I did that just simplified every day. And this, and if you think about it, this is, yes, it's an investment. I would say that, you know, it could take, you know, six to 12 months of just trying things here and there um, over time to really understand what your, you know, what is your style, I guess is a good way to say it. <clears throat> but once you get this done, then it's easy. And I need easy. I am a busy mom. Um, I don't need a lot of difficult choices to make on a daily basis. I already have plenty of choices that I need to make on a daily basis. So that is my story. And I'll definitely go into um, my experience of hiring an image consultant. And what they do is they go through and do an assessment for you. They, um, they'll take all of your measurements. They have color swatches where they find what your top 10 power colors are. And they're just really knowledgeable. So let me give you another funny example. So um, one of the shops that I did with my image consultant, she held up two shirts and she said, okay, see how this is red red and see how this is an orange red. And to be honest, I couldn't tell the difference. It, they looked the same to me. So this is another thing. Some women are very good with color. They have a great eye for color. And I personally am just not one of them. I believe my sister is another person who has an eye for color. She is amazing at that. And so one of the things that I continue to learn as I get older is, you know, finding out what your strengths are. And when you find out that something is not your strength, if you can try to outsource it because it takes up so much time and so much energy um, that you know you really want to free up that time to spend time with the baby, spend time with connections, spend time with friends. This is how I felt. So, um, so once again, just want to continue to bring you guys ideas, bring you guys ideas, and share my story of what helped me. And and really, the ultimate goal here is helping you as a new mom if you do not have local support finding those connections and finding that support system that's going to help you along the way because ladies i truly believe that as women and as moms we were not designed to raise a baby by ourselves my hope and my wish is that you know over the years more and more women have that village and if you don't have family in town then creating your own village and you know we're the modern new moms i feel like you know we're the moms where our families move for opportunities and so we're really the ones that are pioneering this and needing to find new ways to do things and i think it's all about you know self-care taking care of ourselves getting that support so we can be our best selves for our babies so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my story about how I came across the 10 item wardrobe. Um, you know, the mom uniforms, another example with me and our fun, um, a capsule wardrobe, just Google any of these terms and you should be able to find really great resources on this to, to better understand. And if you haven't, and if you like Parisian culture and you haven't read the Madame Chic series, um, I highly recommend you getting to read that. So definitely encourage you to check out um, the Madame Chic series. 
Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope it's given you some fun ideas and um, just looking forward to continuing to share and find ways to help us get better connection and support. All right, until next time, bye.